Well, my friends, it's been a few weeks now since every major sports franchise has discovered the key to success. They figured it out. They've unlocked the code, my friends. It's not sprinkling a little bit of wokeness into your product. Oh, shit, no. Take a big old truckload of it. Back that wokeness truck up, undo the latch in the back, and just pour it into your product. That is guaranteed success. If you want to ride a wave of profit, a wave of viewership, don't just do a little bit of wokeness. Jam it into everybody's face. Let's go out and take a look. How, how well is this working for NBA, MLB, news car? Oh, no. No one's watching. <laughs> Absolutely no one. I'm fucking shocked, guys. You're telling me that just jamming highly divisive political rhetoric into everybody's face isn't going to work for MLB and NBA? What the fuck is going on? It works so well for comic books and comic book movies. You're telling me it's not going to work for fucking sports franchises? Color me shocked. I thought for sure spray painting Black Lives Matter, everybody, on your basketball court or stenciling it on the pitcher's mound. I was fucking convinced that that was going to bring in a wave of brand new angry feminist bitch viewers into all of these sports franchises. I guess I was wrong. Take a look at this, guys. We're over here at Breitbart. Ratings woes continue for woke NBA and MLB. The NBA and MLB, two of the nation's biggest pro sports, have returned to TV after COVID-19 hiatus. However, their ratings show that fans just aren't all that interested in the new woke version of the leagues. Both basketball and baseball hit the screens this summer filled with peons to Black Lives Matter, protests during the national anthem, and an avalanche of sloganeering on signs, stadium floors and fields, and on players' jerseys' backs. Along with the intrusion of this political activism on the TV screen during the games, the two leagues have literally blasted social media with one woke proclamation after another. Hold on a second, you're telling me that chastising, I don't know what, 60% of your audience, telling them that they're all racist and that they're all bigots and they're all responsible, of course, for the slaveries and the oppression of all of the multi, 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 multi millionaire black people on the screen. You're telling me that was going to drive away viewers? Again, I'm colored shock, guys. I'm absolutely stunned that you idiots thought that this would be a good idea. And of course you didn't think it was a good idea. You just didn't think that you could stand up against the outrage mob by saying, no, 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 we're just going to keep playing sports. <laughs> Nobody watches any of this nonsense to be reminded and hammered over the head over highly divisive political rhetoric. No one's watching any of this for politics. They're watching it to escape politics. And because you wouldn't do that, you are now paying the price. I mean, holy balls, you know you're in trouble when people who have been starved for sports and you turn it back on and more people are watching Rachel fucking Maddow. They're watching fucking Tucker Carlson. Take a look at this. The ratings for the NBA were so poor that Fox News programming and even Rachel Maddow on MSNBC beat opening night NBA ratings. And things haven't gotten better since opening night. Look at this. The NBA has struggled to average more than 1.5 million viewers and baseball is in no better shape. For the NBA's opening week, the league averaged 1.56 million viewers down from the already lackluster pre-coronavirus average of 1.62 million. Baseball has seen a smattering of numbers that hover, in most cases, well below 1.5 million average viewers. But of course, in comes the shill media owned by the Chai Coms out to protect the narrative. They're trying to tell people, like, what's happening? Oh my god, like, nobody could understand. Like, it's super duper complex. Like, all right, the ratings are down, but if you compare these ratings to some of these ratings that happened on a full moon on Mondays, and it's completely different, then the ratings are actually up. No, the ratings are down, right? Less people are watching fucking basketball than ever, and it doesn't take a fucking rocket scientist or a galaxy brain Brie Larson to figure out what the fuck is going on over here. You upset your core audience. You shit on people and now you're shocked that they're not watching for fuck's sake. Over at Variety they're trying to tell everybody, are NBA TV ratings really in big trouble for basketball? Yeah, pricks. <laughs> it's in gigantic trouble. There's one sport out there that didn't go crazy. 
Golf. <laughs> Golf. Oh, my balls, man. Right now, the NBA, these games are seeding the playoffs, and they're in prime time, and even those games are getting less viewers than fucking golf. I mean, holy shit. No, no. People want sports, but they don't want to be hammered over the head on how they're racist. They certainly don't want to be chastised by Black Lives Matter during their sports, while when they flip the channel, they watch Black Lives Matter burning down Chicago, burning down Detroit, burning down Minneapolis, threatening people, kicking people in their fucking head in Portland. Nobody wants to be chastised by a group of domestic terrorists and using multi, multi, multi millionaires as their fucking megaphone to do it. This is fucking stupid. For fuck's sake, I imagine at this point, caber tossing is beating MLB and NBA. And when NFL comes back, you guys are going to enjoy record low ratings as well. Everybody sees what's going on except for the people who own these franchises. They are race hostages. They are being extorted by these race pibs on the left. These people can't wait for the fucking 2020 election. They want Donald Trump in there and they want to be able to shed this nonsense and get back to the business of making money by playing sports. But there you have it, my friends. The only better story that we've had lately with the sports nonsense is uh, a few weeks ago, not even a few weeks, probably a few days ago, they were playing soccer, Major League Soccer, if that's even a thing in this country. They were playing it in Texas. These dumb fuckers thought it would be a good idea to kneel. You play soccer, right? <laughs> Just fucking kick the ball. They decided to kneel and do the black like man fucking limp wrist up in the air and the fans started booing them and chanting usa 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 which is why they won't let fans in the fucking nba or mlb because we would do that shit to them in that area too and just show everybody everyone hates antifa everybody hates black lives matter this is all propaganda being pushed to us through this medium of our sports and we will not tolerate we won't sit there we won't watch it so good on you guys for turning the channel Good on you guys for turning off these woke fucking sports. Let them go woke and then let them get broke. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the video. Support Jeff. You will be kept up to date on wokeness being a fucking cancer in pop culture, in sports, in politics. Hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.